I see the lovely Meghan Markle's back in the news. She's appeared in some kind of weird uh, coffee advert. Um, I'm going to ask Kinsey about this one first, Michael, because it's her area oh, of expertise. Cool. Um, there's some coffee company up in Santa Barbara, uh, which apparently Meghan has invested in. We're just seeing it now. Um, she's filmed a little kind of cameo role for some reason. I suppose if you were going to be completely neutral about it, you'd say, well, why not? You know, let's have a bit of fun with it. But it's kind of a bit unbecoming, isn't it, of uh, somebody who calls herself the Duchess of Sussex? I mean, I, I do think that there's an element of their, her laughing at us wearing, you know, thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of jewelry and pretending to be an intern. Yeah. But I think ultimately this is her trying to have the last laugh. Their headlines have been ferociously negative over the last few months being called Hollywood's biggest losers and everything else that's come with that. This is her saying, I'm going to take control of the headlines and you're all going to be talking about my, co you know, this coffee company that right. I've invested in. Will the return on investment be there? I highly doubt it. But we're seeing influencer Megan, like we've said over the last year, what, what can she go and do now going right. forward? She can make content for Instagram and that's exactly what this is. Yeah. Interesting. Michael, what do you make of it? It's a strange... Uh, well, it was a, little, it was a little bit blink and you miss it. You saw her loveliness uh, wafting through the final frame there in a, in a blue cardigan, it looked like to me, uh, playing an intern, uh, as Kinsey says, and apparently attempting a fist bump with one of the real workers yes. and missing. So I'm not sure that's an entirely successful piece of acting by this great megastar of suits in the past, of course, before she became a royal duchess. Here we are, we see it again. Can you spot her? Well, I think you have to be quick to do that. I imagine she's put the money into the company. She wants it to succeed, to succeed. and this is her, her effort to give it a bit of a boost. I'm not sure whether it's gonna work. The question is, is the coffee any good? I don't know, I don't live in California. Yeah, well, you're probably oh. glad that you don't live in California if that's the kind of thing you have to witness at all times. Um, but let's have a look um, at Mike Tyndall uh, just before we let you go because he's made what might be described as a slightly, um, I don't know, funny remark about Prince William and his inability to drink. Yeah. Let's have a look. For the Prince of Wales, he is known as One Pipe Willie. Um, uh, he's known to me as One Pipe Willie because he's, he's not the best of drinkers coming from a sport where... Uh, it's built on the social aspect and a couple of beers being sunk quite often. So, um, yeah, that is that is one that I will definitely give away for the Prince, <laughs> Prince of Wales. Uh, one pint, Willie. There you go. Oh, it's out there now. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sir. <laughs> sorry, sir. Kinsey, one point, Willie. Um, I think it's uh, I, what I miss about Harry. I think Mike has slid in and and taken his place. He's silly. He's authentic. He's naughty, and uh, you know, one pint Willie. I you know, I'm right there with you, Prince William. One one glass of champagne, Kinsey. Otherwise, I'm I'm in the fetal position on the floor. <laughs> Very good, uh, Mr. Cole. What do well, you make of it? Kinsey is what used to be known as a cheap date, you know, just right. one drink. So it's one drink for Willie. I think that's an I think that's an extremely good idea because he doesn't drink. That's always a good sign. And indeed, Princess Diana, his mother, was not a great drinker at all. She she partook very very slightly. And I think that's a good thing. It it's one of the other habits that you don't have to have, and that's a good thing yeah. in an heir to the throne. I think. Yes, and it, it, it sort of sets him aside, doesn't it, from Harry, uh, who's known to partake perhaps a little yes. bit too much, uh, not only in the drink but also in some of the other stuff. Yeah, precisely so. I think there'll be a welcome in the hillsides for that one, the hillsides of Wales, <laughs> because he's not a boozer. Well, you know, I think Mike Tiddle probably makes up for the whole of the rest of the family. I suspect so. I suspect he absolutely does. Well, listen, if I don't see you, have a great Christmas. Welcome uh, to Thank both you. of you. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Kinsey Schofield there, Thank Michael you. Cole. Uh, all the best all to Kinsey. Yeah, all the best too.